girl friends and welcome to another episode of Tried and Tested. Today we're going to try out some makeup products that are known to be cult classics or really iconic. This is the L'Oreal Paris L Net Satin Hairspray. The finest hairspray used by the finest stylist. Now this hairspray is super old school and a lot of hairstylists use it, like a lot. My hairstylist uses it, every time I go to shoot, most of the time they have a spray like this. They like it because it's like, as it says here, it disappears at the stroke of a brush. It's like some micro diffusion technology and you can spray quite a bit and it doesn't look like your hair has been hairsprayed into a helmet. So they like that. You see like just one spray and already the volume is... <laughs> It doesn't look like this product in my hair, it just looks like my hair naturally has body or volume. It goes in the direction you want it to go. This is actually a really strong hairspray. It's so good, it's 10. The smell is like minus 10. I hate the smell of this spray. I hate it! Like every time I use it, I'm like, oh stop, please stop. L'Oreal, here's a proposal. Why don't you come up with something like this, but with a nicer fragrance? Because your hairstylist also don't like the smell. <laughs> So, when it comes to finishing powders, this one from Makeup Forever, the Micro Finishing Loose Powder, is one of the most constantly raved about. It was actually developed specifically for the TV and film industry so that it wouldn't show up on 4K cameras. In fact, the time when I was doing a series and shot on a 4K camera, they were using this and I tell you, you can really see the difference. It's... You can't see it. <laughs> so you can see the difference because you can't see the powder. It's really quite amazing. You can see it's like super, super fine. So fine that when you do this, it just kind of like wafts up like smoke. It looks white, but it's totally invisible once you buff it in. It takes away the shine, but your skin still really looks like skin. And on the camera, it doesn't look like there's powder on. Although I do feel like with shine control, like it still cannot control my nose, but the rest of my face is like alright. For ultra ultra fine powders, a lot of them only come from like the super high-end brands. They're very expensive. So this one is not cheap for a finishing powder, but it's not as expensive like as a high-end brand translucent powder. So this is really quite amazing. But I did notice one thing, that sometimes if you don't buff it in properly, if you do flash photography, your whole face looks white. So if you're using this and you're taking photos with flash, make sure you really buff that in. Otherwise... <laughs> but uh, for film and all that, it just looks so natural. And this is like a 4K out of 10. <laughs> There you get it. When you think of blush, Nas Orgasm is usually one of the most iconic ones. I think it's because it's a colour that works across a lot of skin tones and you know what, it's so popular that they have an entire range around it. They have nail polish, lip gloss, illuminator, they have a whole bunch of products that are orgasm. It's actually got quite a lot of dimensions. You've got the pink in there, you've also got gold, and you've got like some peach. The pink tones naturally look really great with fairer skin tones, and the peachiness and the gold helps to add warmth. So there is like a gold shimmer to this. So on darker skin tones, you get the pop of colour, as well as that gold shimmer that makes the skin really glow. It's not a sparkly gold, it's like a shimmery gold. Kind of like if you mix a blush and a highlighter together. Okay, just look at this beautiful flush. Like the pink and the gold makes it look so healthy. This colour is really gorgeous. Like the pink is bright, but the gold and the peach adds warmth. Okay, I find the gold actually very obvious, but when it's on your face, it doesn't feel completely obvious. So what happens is that light hits and you just look like the sun kissed your face. Yeah, I can totally see why this is People love this blush. So it's an orgasm <laughs> out of 10. But I'm gonna teach you a slang version. So some people say like, wow, orgas. So instead of orgasmic, it's like, oh, orgas. It's an orgas out of 10. Cause orgasmic is just too proper. We don't do that. <laughs> now this is the Touche Eclat from YSL. It's a highlighter and a concealer and it kind of like illuminates your face. And this is really a cult product. Like I've known about this since I was in secondary school. It's just this beautiful gold pen and it's so compact. You can throw it in your bag. If you have a big wallet, it could fit inside your big wallet as well. Like it's so nice to bring around for touch-ups. So this is something that a lot of people use and a lot of makeup artists use as well. They just use it for like spot concealing, just to conceal without packing on too much product because it doesn't cake up. 
So basically, you press this clicker and the product comes out from this brush. It's not a very thick formula. I feel like if it's a big thing that you need to cover, I don't feel this provides enough coverage. It doesn't just conceal, it also brightens. It really feels like it catches light. The only thing about this is that it doesn't come with a lot of products and it's actually quite pricey. Like sometimes you feel a little bit like, you know, hard pain to use because it's like, oh my god, it's so expensive. <laughs> but this as a product is a really good product. It's versatile in that you can also use it as a highlighter, you can use it as a concealer. In a way, it's like a two-in-one, right? So as a product, I would give this a 10 out of 10. Like I can totally see why this is a cult product. So this is the Urban Decay Naked Palette. Now, Urban Decay is really known for their eyeshadow palettes. In fact, eyeshadow palette, you think eyeshadow palette and most of the time you think Urban Decay. And it's the Urban Decay Naked. So this was like the OG of the Naked palettes. It's so great because it's a whole bunch of neutral shades and also it's got different textures. So you've got matte, you've got satin, shimmer and sparkle everything that you need to create different types of looks. So Urban Decay was actually one of the first brands to come up with a palette that had so many neutral shades that all went well together and that was such a success. So a lot of other brands have tried to replicate what Urban Decay has done but this still kind of remains like the favourite. Many many years ago when we first started, I think not that many, <laughs> When we first started trying and test it, actually, our director, Jillian, was the one who recommended me the Naked Palette. She was like, oh my god, these like colours... Okay, she doesn't talk like that, that's me. <laughs> She's just like, I'm telling you, Shu, this Naked Palette is so good. The colours are just so pigmented, you can mix all of them. Anyone could do this. You should really try it. And I got it and I was sold. I was like, this palette is the bomb. And I have almost all the other palettes since then. Sometimes when you look at palettes, right, they can look very intimidating because there's so many colours, you don't know which one to go with which one. But for this palette, you can mix almost anything and they will work as a look. So that is great, especially if you're like starting out with makeup and you just want to try something. Okay, so now I'm going to remove my eye makeup and let's do this. Actually, currently, I'm using the Naked Ultimate Basics. <laughs> Alright, let's start! This is so pigmented, it's buttery, it blends really well. And you see, just a little bit gets you so far. And even for like lighter neutral shades, they show up so well. And I'm done. I love this palette. It's so amazing. It's great especially like if you are quite minimalist or you are travelling a lot. One palette can get you through so many things, you know? It's off the charts. Yes. This is really off the charts. Cannot read. I mean, I have other palettes but they kind of supplement the Urban Decay. But if I'm travelling, definitely an Urban Decay palette is coming with me. So this is Kiehl's Creme Decor. It is a customer favourite and also a cult classic when it comes to body moisturisers. It's very rich but not greasy. The yellow colour of this body moisturiser is actually very distinctive because a lot of moisturisers are white. So you can see it's actually really quite thick. So as a body moisturiser, it's not one of those like aromatherapy kind of stuff. Kiehl's is one of those brands that doesn't add things they feel the product doesn't need. So they don't add fragrance to their things unless it's part of the ingredients. It smells very basic, no added fragrance kind, but it's very rich. I guess in a way it smells like skin. Even though there's no fragrance, the smell of the cream itself is not too strong. So if you're the kind of person who likes fragrance in their moisturisers, this is not for you. But if you just want a really solid, awesome moisturiser with no fragrance, because some people don't want fragrance, then this is like so perfect. You see how much that spreads? It gets absorbed really quickly, but it also leaves your skin feeling very moisturised and also protected. I actually do use this, especially on days when my skin is feeling particularly dry. So for moisturisers, that are thicker, usually when you spread it, it's very pasty and gunky, but this one spreads very smoothly as you can see, so I would give this a 10 out of 10. This is Smith's Rosebud Salve. Now this is a balm that is really good for healing chaplets, but it can also be used in many other ways. It can be used to heal cuts, some makeup artists use it on the cheeks to give that natural glow, or you can use it to tame your eyebrows or even flyaways. Actually it's a little bit like Vaseline, but this is like a rosebud scented one. And just look at this packaging, it's so cute! I always walk past this and I go like, oh that's really gorgeous, but I don't get it because it's in a tin and generally I don't really like things in like tins and tubs. Colour is very inviting. It looks like the flush of youth. <laughs> You know, that kind of colour. It smells really pleasant, like a very young, light rose. So there's colour in the tin, but really it comes out pretty much colourless. 
I feel like it's a bit thicker than Vaseline and it's almost like smoother. Like it feels a bit like a gloss actually. Oh, I can tell my people like this. It's so moisturizing. It feels so smooth and calming and it really just coats your lips. You can really feel it as being absorbed by the lips. All right, so now I'm gonna try using this on my cheeks. So on my cheeks, it adds like a little shine. Actually a lot of things that this does, Vaseline or like some lip balms can do too, but I think just overall as a package, this works. 10 out of 10. Okay, we've come to the end of the episode. If you want to find out more about the products, links are in the description box down below, or you can go to our Tried and Tested Facebook page. And if you have already subscribed, remember to ring that bell so you'll be notified every time a new video comes out. Or you can just download the Click Network app and you can watch the videos before they come out onto YouTube. Alright, till next time. Go be beautiful.